everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me again i just want to start by saying a huge huge thank you to everyone that has left me unbelievable comments under my recent videos and sent me the most lovely dms honestly you are putting the biggest smile on my face and it just means the world that you're really enjoying my content and my videos over here i'm loving filming videos for youtube for you guys so it just means the world that you're enjoying them so anyway welcome back to episode two of my styling series today as you can see i'm going to be talking all about mini skirts i absolutely love a mini skirt they are I think my favourite thing to wear, I love wearing them in the day, really casual, dressing them up, more smart, really dressy, I just love them. I thought I would do a little edit, so I've got five outfits here to share with you. They are a mix between workwear, really casual, comfy fashion, um, and then also a more like dressy evening kind of look. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the mini skirt that I'm going to be styling today. This is the most gorgeous wool mini skirt I think I've ever owned. This is from Fourth and Reckless and I am just obsessed with it. It's got this kind of wrap detail, so the front of the skirt wraps around and secures here with a button. I'll give you a little close up so you can see the skirt wraps around here. Super flattering. I've got this in a size 6 and I would definitely say it's true to size. It is um, quite a mini mini skirt but because it's got that wrap element it does make you feel like it's a little bit more conservative. It's not like just one straight skirt if that makes any sense at all um but i absolutely love this this color is such a perfect gray it just goes with everything and i love it so outfit number one i'm giving you something that's like throw on every day really simple this is the type of thing i wear quite a lot in autumn because you can still have your legs out so a mini skirt is essential i have styled the skirt with this chunky knit jumper this is from french connection last year it's just this super thick cozy comfy jumper really easy to just chuck on it's got a nice boxy shape to it so it really keeps its shape and then to go with this outfit i popped on my prada loafers I am obsessed with these. I think for episode three, I'm gonna be styling Prada loafers with loads of outfits for you guys because I think loafers are not going anywhere and you can get some amazing high street alternatives to these ones. Outfit number two is a little bit more kind of, I would call this like a city chic kind of vibe. So I'm going to show you without the hat first of all, because that's just like an added extra. So first things first, the basis of the outfit, obviously I've got the mini skirt and I've just twisted the wrap detail just round to the side a little bit, just so that the front of the skirt is just more straight, just so that it's a bit more streamlined. Um, and then I've got this gorgeous chunky knit jumper this is an old one from h&m but i know that they've got one exactly the same that i will link below i love this and every autumn winter i bring this back out i think i've had this for two or three years now it's just great i got this in a few sizes up so that it is a little bit more oversized super easy to wear and i haven't tucked it in this time i've just bagged it over a little bit i've kind of so this is what the jumper looks like and then i've just tucked it up and rolled it over and just kind of let it do its thing. I think sometimes outfits look the most expensive and chic when you just let them do their thing, like a little bit undone. And then on top of that, I've layered this unbelievable coat from Fourth and Reckless. This is Georgia Lennon's collection, her coat that she styled and created. I absolutely love this so much i love how this outfit is just a little bit lighter and brighter and quite soft these are actually from zara but and other stories have a really similar pair i've had these again for years they go with everything just a super chunky boot up the leg and it kind of makes this really soft kind of elegant outfit a bit more chunky and bikery and then as an added extra which i do quite like i really like a cap I would throw on a cap just to make it a bit more chilled because with the big coat and the legs out it can look quite dressy so having the cap on it just really brings the outfit down much more casual and I love how it ties in the black 
with the boot i just think it's so cool but obviously the hat's only an added extra you don't need to wear that but i just think this is the coolest thing it's giving me like copenhagen vibes i love it outfit number three something a little bit more smart for the daytime or the evening i love this matching set so whenever I buy a mini skirt, I always try to get the matching blazer or the jacket, whatever it is that goes with it. Obviously, if I like it, I'll always try to get the matching set because you can wear it as a full outfit. So easy, so easy to style. You just can't, really can't go wrong with a matching set. And I just find when I'm not sure what to wear in the mornings, it's always something really easy to reach for. This is honestly the nicest fit. Look how nice this is. This is a size eight and the sleeves are the perfect long line length so i've got my fingers out but it's just nice and cozy not too big on the arms at all i really love how this is tailored to fit um it's also super boxy but because it's got this double breasted detail i feel like it kind of is a little bit more streamlined it's not super oversized it's got these lovely pockets on the front and then obviously the gorgeous lapel and the material of this is obviously exactly the same as the skirt it's like a lovely wool soft kind of like felt effect and i find sets are just always what i lean towards when i'm not sure what to wear then to give it a little bit of added detail i've added my snakeskin boots these are from Mango and I actually got these so long ago and I still love them. Yeah, this outfit I love and I actually cannot wait to wear this out for like a lunch, maybe an event or something. I just think it's so cool. I love it. going a little bit more smart now so i'm thinking all you girls that are working in offices maybe you're a little bit more corporate maybe you've got an interview you want to look like you mean business i love this look and it's really giving me like gossip girl sick form vibes so firstly i've paired the mini skirt with this beautiful white shirt this white shirt is from because of alice i feel like i talk about alice's brand non-stop but she just does the best basics. So this is the white shirt, super boxy, kind of like a bit of a menswear fit, which I love because it just means it's a bit more baggy, it's super comfortable, but it's really structured with the collar and also the cuff. So you could obviously do this up and fold it back if you wanted to. You could obviously roll up your sleeves, however you choose to style it. But I just think it looks so chic and elegant without having that like women's fitted. Do you know what I mean? The women's shirt that is like super fitted and kind of giving me like head teacher vibes. This is a bit more fashiony, a bit more cool. And then obviously I've got my Because of Alice black blazer. This is my everyday blazer. I love it. It's double lined so it's super thick, lovely material. Just yeah, looks so smart. I love it. And then I've paired that with a pair of tights. And my reason for that is I feel like autumn, winter, you might want to wear a skirt in these situations. But I mean, I've never worked in an office. So you guys might be screaming at me saying, oh my God, I would not wear a mini skirt to work or I'm not allowed. But I'm kind of going from like, when I was at school, this is the kind of thing I'd wear. And I felt really concealed really covered up really kind of modest but with still quite like a high fashion element so the tights just really dull down the outfit make it a little bit more modest and you feel a bit more covered up without having your bare legs out especially when it's colder as well and then i've paired that with my heeled boots these are actually a vintage pair of boots my mum bought these when she was about 25 and they're from Topshop, and i'm still wearing them now literally all those years later, I love them. They're just a really chunky heel boot, square toe, so kind of got that like trendy edge to them, but just quite a classical, classy, smart look. And last but not least, outfit number five, 
Something that I would wear a little bit more dressy. Maybe we're going out for dinner. We're going for some drinks. It's cold outside. You want to be warm. You're not going for like the proper party, but maybe you're going out for dinner. And I've styled the skirt with this unbelievable top. I bought this from H&M, I think quite a couple of years ago now. As you can see in this video, a lot of my pieces that I wear all the time are so old and I've got really good at buying staple timeless pieces. So this top is just completely ruched. The whole thing is ruched. It's got these gorgeous big volume sleeves. I just love this. I think it's such a gorgeous top. You know, I think there are some similar ones online, so I will link them below. These heels are from Zara. They've got a gorgeous like little rhinestone effect on the front and then just like really minimal straps across the front. So many like these online, super similar ones. I'll link down below. But I just love how that really elongates the leg, it looks super flattering, really like minimal and subtle but with that little element of sparkle which I really love. When you've got a simple outfit like this in the evening, it's really nice to jazz it up with maybe rings, jewellery, necklaces, earrings, that kind of thing and your little sparkly shoe. Maybe even a sparkly bag if we're going all out. And that is the end of episode two. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know your favourite outfit from today's video. I hope you liked the outfits. I feel like I've got something for everyone in here. Super monochrome palette. So, really simple, really easy. Just like all my outfits, really. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head over to Instagram and follow me at Lauren Grace Life if you want to see what I get up to every day, more outfit videos, and, yeah, on my stories, I'm just always showing you what I'm doing every day, super laid back and chilled. So have a lovely rest of your day or evening, whatever you're up to, and I will see you in my next one.